Welcome back, everybody. Just wanted to show you a few things that I've gotten over the last week or so. Hope everyone had a great weekend so far. Uh, when I shot this, it's still Sunday. I think I'm going to release it either Sunday night or Monday morning. So if your weekend's already over, hope you have a great work week. If not, enjoy the rest of your weekend if it comes out on Sunday evening. Uh, I want to show you a few things that I got picked up over the course of the last week, uh, last week or so. Wanted to also give a shout out to one person I made a deal with on Facebook in case you wanted to reach out to this individual to purchase cards from this individual. I thought he was pretty fair in dealing with me and the prices he was able to cut with me for the items I got. So without further ado, let's just jump into it. All right, so I actually went to the White Sox game yesterday, so I was able to see the White Sox versus the St. Louis Cardinals, and it was bobblehead day, so we got a Luis Robert bobblehead who's actually going to be in the Home Run Derby tomorrow and playing in the All-Star game at some point, probably on Tuesday. So congratulations to Luis. The White Sox are pretty bad this year after having watched them. They are definitely three outcome hitters. They either strike out, walk, or hit a home run, and lately they're not doing too much walking, and they're not doing too much home running, so they have a hard time being able to manufacture runs when they really need it, uh, and they were definitely looked very overmatched at the plate, even though I don't think the Cardinals pitching was all that great yesterday, um, but that's been the White Sox this year, and I'm kind of eager for them to kind of move in a different direction with some of the players, because they have a lot of players that kind of are those three outcome individuals. And on the pitching side, if they don't get a strikeout, they just don't tend to get people out. Um, so they have a hard time being able to generate balls in play that are fielded by their infield. And sometimes the infielders don't know how to actually execute on some of these more complicated shifts in the infield when the ball is hit and runners are moving. So that's also a problem even when they do do that. Uh, so it's been a rough year for the White Sox. Uh, thank you for those that kind of reached out with uh, words of support and understanding for the White Sox, but it's okay. Uh, I've been here before with this team, and you know, last time I kind of felt probably this down on them. They did a rebuild, uh, and I remember also kind of feeling a little bit down on them in like 2004, and then the next year they were able to go to the World Series, so you just never know. Baseball is such a funny sport from year to year. All right, so let's just jump right into the mail day. I uh, wanted to kind of show... I got this last weekend, actually, when I opened the box. I decided to keep it when I started like looking up uh, the prices on it because I was considering selling it. And I realized this is actually kind of a cool parallel of Michael Harris. And, you know, Michael Harris was the rookie of the year. So at least I think he was last year, if I'm not mistaken. And he's uh, in the All-Star game this year. So I'm like, eh, it might be a good one to hold on to, especially your heritage in particular, because there's so much of the base card. So if you can get a parallel, that's great. Uh, also picked up, speaking, speaking of the White Sox in the World Series, I've slowly begun this project. This one will probably be one that takes several years to do. Uh, but in 2005, Topps base set had the gold parallels and they also had the black parallels. Um, so, But the black parallels are a complete color match with the White Sox uniform, obviously. And it was the year they won the World Series. So I thought, you know what, let me see if I can slowly maybe put this together. Now, Carlos Lee is in the 2005 set as a White Sox. He was an update. I think he would already put on the Brewers by that point. He was not part of the 2005 White Sox, but it was a Series 1 release, so they still released the card with him in the White Sox uniform. Uh, and he was actually traded for Scott Pesednik, the center fielder for the White Sox, who actually hit the walk-off home run in Game 2 against the Astros when they swept the World Series. Uh, these are all numbered out of 54, too, so it is going to take a little while even just finding some of the players, uh, but it's going to be deep in people's collections. But it'll be really cool to be able to put that together at some point, having the... Uh, Obviously, the color parallel black for the entire World Series team would be really neat. And knowing the White Sox, it might be the only World Series win that I might have in my lifetime. So it'd be kind of cool to put that together uh, in the same way. I think some people kind of went after like the 59 Sox, if you will. All right. So other stuff that I have up here, um, I was able to work out a deal with someone called Jose uh, De La Vega over Facebook. I found him in one of my Facebook groups. I was looking for... So I'm going to put for sale a specific card, and I'll show you what that one is in a minute. And I just messaged him and or put it on the thread. I'm like, hey, do you have any, is that for sale in particular? And then this person, Jose, messaged me separately and say, hey, I got some of those cards for sale if you're interested, including that one. So it was actually the 64 Giants cards. Um, so as you know, I'm putting that set together, and I had about a 
half done. Now I'm up to about a two thirds done because I'm down to just like 19 cards I need left. So the commons I got were Dick Ellsworth, Bill Freehand, which is a common, but I think he was much better than a common catcher during his period. Greatly underappreciated during the 60s and 70s. Camilio Pascal, Pete Ward, former rookie of the year for the White Sox. Johnny Callison, definitely a fan favorite for the Phillies and also briefly a White Sox player. Juan Pizarro of the White Sox. Leon Wagner. And John Romano. So the one actually that like, caught my attention originally, somebody had this one graded. I ended up getting it from the Steeler. He didn't have it graded, but I'm very happy to pick it up and it's in really good condition is Roberto Clemente. Beautiful, beautiful card. So I'm starting to knock off some of the big Hall of Famers now with the pickup of Roberto in this set. Uh, so I'll put Roberto in the background here with Pete. Let's so kind of show him off there as I pull out the last two cards. I'm going to take down Carlos Lee as well. Pull the holders out a little bit more closely here so I can show you off those cards. So as you know, I'm working on the 1934 to 36 Diamond Star sets. So I was able to pick up two from uh, Four Sharp Corners, had a couple on auction, which often when you see these cards, they're like, buy it now, best offer on eBay. You do have some that go to auction, but not often. But when you do go to some of the cards for auction, you can sometimes get them a little bit less than you would um, for buy it now or even best offer sometimes. These ended up going for about what I would expect to do even best offer, probably because the number of eyes that are on it for sharp, Four Sharp Corners. Um, so they're, these are the two cards I got. They are George Standback in a Cubs uniform there, and then Bill Delancey with the St. Louis Cardinals. This one's card, card's kind of interesting because I first saw this one up close uh, that I can remember at least was not uh, when I purchased it here, but actually was when I saw it at the St. Louis Cardinals Hall of Fame. They had a copy of that card there when they were talking about the Gas House Gang because he was a catcher with the team briefly during that period of time. Uh, so Bill Delancey um, was the card I was able to pick up here. It's a beautiful card, I think, of the two. It's the one that's more eye-catching for some reason. I think just the background is a little bit more interesting and uh, similar color combinations, but I think there's some reason like the orange to yellow to green at the bottom of the card just kind of makes it pop out a little bit. And obviously the birds on the bats are always such a classic design for the Cardinals and it stayed that way throughout their history for the most part. So it's a very iconic image as it goes for uniforms within baseball. And then most of the catchers you see for this set are actually squatting or at least have their catcher's gear on. So it looks pretty cool to me, just kind of seeing it and you can see the tarp kind of all rolled up in the background there. He's got kind of an interesting history. I'm not kind of doing profiles on these guys just yet, but uh, it'll be interesting when I get a chance to be able to uh, showcase this card. And then George Stanback, also be interesting kind of showcase him. He's the type of player you just don't see in Major League Baseball anymore now that war is such an important stat. And I'll kind of explain why when I go into that card. Uh, but again, two commons here. But you, if you're putting this set together, you get excited about getting some of the commons. And especially if you get good commons that look this good. Um, this one's kind of funny too because like I feel like this guy's head's maybe a little bit too big big for where he's kind of positioned in the picture so it kind of looks like he has a large head so it looks kind of looks a little funny with me the card of the guy that's in the dugout at that point um, but they're both from 35 so they both have the green backs on the cards so that's great I got two more off the list now and just kind of slowly building up the number of diamond stars that I have that is what I got for this uh, mail day at this time this might be sort of the last significant mail day before I actually go to the national in two weeks so, but I'll have some more content to share with everybody before then. All right, enjoy the rest of your day.